Hey guys, welcome to this uh, second tutorial about Cthulhu. Uh, I know it's been a while and uh, I'm back uh, about uh, this uh, subject. I'm gonna show you how to really quickly evolve uh, a, a pattern that you found in Cthulhu into a quick draft of a track. Really quick draft, but you know, uh, after this you get a real interesting core and you can just layer stuff and start really working on. So really to kickstart your, uh, your productions uh, you know, or quick start your creativity. So um, I'm assuming you're all you guys already know how to link Cthulhu with a synthesizer in FL Studio, how to set up Cthulhu properly. Um, so what I have here, this is, uh, first, in fact, what you want is to find interesting pattern in Cthulhu. What? Oh. So. And uh, sorry, there's a lot of latency while I, while I record. Um, so yeah, I have uh, found this uh, pretty little pattern here. So yeah, nothing too uh, too spectacular, but uh, this is it. Um, and so once you found that that pattern, things you can do first, you really should try t turning on the arpeggiator. Find yourself an interesting arpeggiator pattern. Uh, by the way, I'm using Baccarat 103. Uh, you can use uh, the one you want. Um, I have found this preset of arpeggiator. You can uh, first, in fact, uh, let's check all these uh, little knobs, uh, uh, things to tweak on Cthulhu that can be really interesting. Um, first, the chord is going to make all your, instead of notes, it's going to be chords that's going to be arpeggiated. Hey, not bad. So you can choose. You can either choose chord or no chord. I'm gonna stick with no chords for this. Uh, I'm gonna stick with notes for this arpeggiator. You have your timing here. Uh, also, always go check out when one eight is. Can do something nice, but if, if you're using uh, this, this timing, don't put some swing on. So you have your swing. It's gonna add. Of course, it's gonna add a little swing to uh, your pattern. Uh, this is without a swing. I personally love that swing. It gives a makes the brings the track al alive. Uh, gives it a groove. And you have your gate here. If you're not familiar with it, with the gate uh, effect or the gate parameter, it's, it's like little slices of sound. And the less your gate is open, the more slicey it's gonna feel. Then. The more uh, your gate is open, the less slicey it's gonna feel. Feel, feel, sorry. And uh, so, in my case, I use um, a, a kind of a clo really close uh, gate feeling, really slicey feeling uh, to add some groove. So. Once you've all figured this out, in my case, it's done. So that was my very first layer. So what now I want to do to really my, you know, like snowball the production and you know get things uh, rolling really fast? Um, you're gonna you clone your Cthulhu, so just clone it. So now I have my second instance of Cthulhu. Very first thing you want to do is uh, directly change the the MIDI settings here okay cuz if you don't and you press play you're going to have two instances of Cthulhu sending signal to this very same uh destination and s it can make your computer crash or just it's going it's not going to be cool okay on cool <laughs> so change your midi settings right away and um you see that there's colors here it's not just to be fancy i'm really not that uh, fancy person but uh, if you start layering many, many, many Cthulhu, um, and uh, at one point you're gonna wonder what, which synthesizer correspond to which Cthulhu, right? So 
I have this little color color code to um, not get too messy. Okay. Um, all right. So now I have uh, this Cthulhu is uh, for the the second layer. So now you can now that you have your pattern, you can just start layering some stuff. I have this second uh, spire lead. You see, I, all that I've done is clone the Cthulhu. So if I clone it, uh, it's gonna keep the same setting that that already has. So all that you need to do is copy that piano roll and put it there. So you have two Cthulhu with playing on two different patches, but you have the the same setting, the same uh, Cthulhu setting, the same arpeggiator, the same chords. Okay, so now you, we already have two layers. Um, after this, you might want to have, uh, let's say, uh, a pad. Okay, or also uh, a lot of lead layers, but you might also want a pad. So clone, same thing, clone your Cthulhu, link it to a pad. You're gonna paste your pattern, uh, but you're gonna uncheck, of course, arpeggiator, because arpeggiated pad is kind of weird. It's not, it's not a pad. It's an arpeggiator or a lead. So, same thing. You paste your things here, and now uh, you're gonna have. Okay, this is you know fairly easy in terms of m manipulation. Okay, and this this might not be the, the pad and the lead you're gonna stick on after, but you quickly have a, a good feeling of what the what the 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 track can be. Okay, so like this. <laughs> So, you, you know, you have your core, you have the vibe of the track, and for the bass line, what I, what I did, and what, what you want to do to uh, get your bass line notes, because you don't want a, um, Cthulhu to send chord signal to your bass line, okay? You want only one note. So, you get the, the, the pattern, that's a layer one, and you look at this, this note right here, the very first note of the chord here, not here, this one. Uh, you play your pattern all right so you see um, th this you you have to do it uh, manually sadly and it's the less uh, fun part of all this process but so you get all these notes that you saw. You're gonna go and put them there in the you know to your your baseline tune, okay? And uh, I have I have this really regular pattern, but you know once you know uh, your notes, then you can. It's yours to, to you know to mess around, okay? You can just uh, uh, first I I have one for this, but it's really really simple, okay? But who, who knows later in the in the track you can start you know focusing on your baseline and work some, something else you can, I can just quantize and get something uh but yeah you're yours to discover okay and that is it so uh now you've got this core ready to be uh work uh, worked ready to be uh, developed and you can start adding uh, uh, percussion, adding drums, uh, layering till uh, the sky blow up. Okay, so uh, that is one way to start the track to get inspired. And uh, that's it. I hope you. I sometimes work like this when I ask Cthulhu, and it's it's uh, it's good. It's good. I like it. I hope you guys can benefit this method. And uh, if you like the tutorial, subscribe. It's going to be more. If you uh, also, guys, go check out my music. And uh, peace, love, unity, and respect.